Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekend advice reading for the weekend of January 27th, 28th and 29th, 2017. Um, welcome and welcome back to everyone who's been here before. So this is just um, a general reading looking at the energies that surround us during this time, what we need to know about these energies and potentials and how we can use them for our highest good. It's not so much a predictive reading as it is, um, again, looking at the energies that surround us and um, how we can use them. So it's still up to us to use these energies to our advantage um, or choose to let things be what they are. Okay, so it's um, additional information should we choose to take it into account. That's pretty much what this is, okay? Um, and so it's going to apply to everybody watching or it is intended to deliver messages for everybody watching regardless of your star sign. And let's jump in and see what we have here. Um, so as usual, I'm gonna take you through all the cards, show you each of the cards, um, and then tie the messages together. So we have a number one card here talking about new beginnings, starting fresh, we have the card of leadership, Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. For tarot cards, we have the world, the five of wands in the center, and the nine of wands. I think we've just had the nine of wands haven't we and then we also have brothers and sisters to get along with others see the love and the best within them and true yes what you're asking about is the truth okay so with the number one card with the world card the leadership card here um we're looking at, if we want to, um, the possibility to end something, free ourselves from something, let something come full circle, allow something to be completed, um, and then start something fresh, start a new direction, start a new path. With the leadership position here, the leadership card, it's definitely just reinforcing um, or confirming that it is within our power to make these things happen or it's our choice to allow these things to happen um, but if we want a new beginning if we want to move forward if we want to see change uh, we must do what we can in order to make this happen or help things along we must use um, our skills our resources and just be aware of our responsibility in manifesting what we want okay we are co-creators so it's not just up to the universe to do the whole uh, job thing work whatever we have our part to play just as the universe has its part to play and it's important that we do what our part is okay um, that's why we're called co-creators it's not just everything is not within our power um, but on the flip side of that we do have power okay we're not powerless we are not at the mercy of the universe the forces and so on um and so i always you know look at our free will as a gift um that should not cannot be taken away from us but also a responsibility we have the responsibility to exert our free will just as much as it is a gift we have uh the responsibility to make choices and to create and try to make things happen just as much as we have our free will in terms of not accepting th things that make us unhappy or turning away from things or um, whatever the case may be okay um, so the five of wands in the center of the reading talks about changes happening they're very positive changes very constructive changes although it may be difficult to see this because we're in the middle of it um, with the nine of wands I feel like what the opportunity for us to complete something and move on, it's talking about something that has been um, a focus, a struggle, a responsibility, 
uh, for us for a long time. Okay, it could be nine weeks, nine months, nine years, or even going further back than that. And it's been trying, it's been something that has been trying to end. It has been trying to complete, okay, in our lives, but it needed an extra push from us or needed a decision uh, from us. We needed to take that final step, um, whether that is allowing something to happen, whether it is accepting whatever's going on and therefore releasing it uh, or changing the situation, putting an end to it and then moving on from it, whatever the case may be, we needed to take that final step in order to allow for that completion to happen um, and there, therefore for change to come about. Um, with the world card here, it can talk about uh, a struggling time at work that is now coming to conclusion and we are successful, okay? The world card is here to tell us that we are successful here, okay? It's our success, um, it's our effort, we receive the recognition, we receive the praise here with the world card, uh, with this, whatever this is for you, coming full circle, being completed and released. Uh, again, it's a reminder of our own power in the situation. With the world, it is a card of victory and freedom that comes with it. The confidence and the freedom that comes with it. Um, and so I feel like that's something we will be working on this weekend uh, or something that you know we are guided to or encouraged to work on this weekend because we have we have the opportunity to put something to rest for good for once and for all okay and something that has been a struggle and an effort and a fight um, constant work very draining very demanding very exhausting in our lives for quite some time with the brothers and sisters card here it is a card that um, asks for us to be compassionate is asking us to uh, practice patience understanding uh, trying to see the other person's point of view trying to um, see the good in every person trying to see the good and the blessings um, and the situations that we're dealing with um, especially when they are difficult situations, especially when they are troubled times. Um, and you know, that may be um, difficult. It is very difficult when you're going through something that is very, very heavy and difficult and complicated to see the blessings in it. It can be very <laughs> challenging to do that, but that's the effort that needs to go in okay into that situation so that we can put it to rest um, and that's also the the energy that that and the the step the action the changes our mentality and that changes our energy and our va vibration it raises our vibration and therefore we no longer attract the same old same old situation that makes us feel unhappy we start attracting better situations better energies better people because we have raised our vibration okay so it is an effort in itself um but the blessings that come as a result of us doing that they're truly truly beautiful um the true card here the it talks about truth speaking our truth standing up for ourselves and for what truly matters to us for what we truly value it is also a card that says you are in touch with your truth. So whatever you've been thinking about or how you feel about a situation uh, or what you've been going back and forth on, um, if your intuition is telling you one thing, the card is saying you should trust that you are in touch with your truth in that particular circumstance and you should act accordingly. Okay, that's, that's another thing. We are asked to act. We are asked to take a step um, in the direction that we want to walk um, during this time. It's not enough to hear our intuition. If we're not going to use that information, it's like receiving a gift of answers, guidance, information, and 
throwing it away, not using it. It's meant to help and we are not using it. So it is a blessing and a gift that we ignore. Um, therefore, so it is important that we not only pay attention to what our intuition tells us, but also that we show that we trust our guidance, the guidance we're receiving by acting accordingly, taking that leadership role in terms of, you know what, I know what needs to be done here. I'm going to get it done. Okay, or I, I will see this through. I will make this happen. I will start this process and figure the rest out as I go. The five of wands in the center of the reading, it can also be conflicting energies, conflicting points of view, not seeing eye to eye with people, not being on the same page, feeling like a little bit of an outsider, feeling like you have to struggle to make your voice heard because everyone else is doing the same thing. And in the five of, of, of wands situation, things are this way because there is no leader. If these people had one person standing up and saying, you know what, this is what we're going to do. They would follow that person. Remember that the card following the five of wands is the six of wands, which is the victory, the triumph, the leadership position, okay, that is coming to you. It's often a card of promotions and uh, rewards for a job well done because we took action, because we took that leadership role on and the rest of the people will follow. They will work with us because we are guiding them, we are inspiring them, we are teaching them, or we are managing them, okay, depending on um, everyone's circumstances, it's going to be different things. And so with the Five of Wands, things have either been challenging, and that is what needs to change, or we've been stuck in an in-between place, in between an ending and a new beginning, because we have not done anything ourselves it's almost you know like we have been taking a back uh, seat to the situation almost like being passive or observing or waiting for something to happen uh, on its own okay kind of not really stepping up uh, waiting for something to happen waiting for someone to come in waiting for whatever the case may be uh, observing what's going on, feeling like, okay, hold on, maybe I need more information, or questioning, doubting our guidance, our intuition, and feeling stuck there in that constant place of push and pull, okay? And with the number one card, it's all about us, what our vision is, what we want to do. Uh, it takes courage, it takes strength to stand up, to say, I will take charge of the situation. I will make it work for me because it implies we take on the challenge and we are willing uh, to put in the effort and we're taking on the responsibility that comes with that affirmation. And so it can be a lot and it can be intimidating, but at the same time, it brings many blessings. It brings healing. It brings new opportunities. And again, it raises our vibration we take on our role of co-creator and then we receive the blessings that come with that we're no longer hiding from something we're no longer running away from something we're no longer dragging our feet in a situation um, we're, we're no longer passive because it's now is not the time to be passive now we have to be the leader now we have to tell people, ourselves, the universe, what we want to see happen, what we want to happen. It's like the card of the magician, okay? When I see this number one card, it's like the card of the magician. Everything is there for us. We need to step up to the table to look at what there is to work with and then come up with that strategy, have that confidence to come up with that strategy in terms of how we're going to use everything that we have at our disposal to get our outcome, okay, to get to where we want to get to. And with the magician energy, it's not that we don't have what we need, so we don't we, we don't have that excuse, okay? Uh, or if we're thinking that way or other people are telling us that, it is just an excuse. Okay, the little that we have 
we can turn into a lot. But we do have to use everything at our disposal. And that doesn't mean just money and it doesn't mean just time and effort and work. It's also our manifestation skills. It's also our faith. It's also our spirituality. It's our contacts. It's talking to people. It's praying. Everything that we have to invest in a situation. Mind, body, and soul. Okay? And we have everything we need. We just need to step up to that table. Is the message for us this weekend. The brothers and sisters card also says don't hold yourself back or allow other people to intimidate you or circumstances to intimidate you. You know what the truth is here. Believe it. Believe the guidance you're receiving. Embrace it and act accordingly and give yourself that new beginning. Give yourself that new path, that new journey. That is what you want it to be. That is in line with what your vision is, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Don't feel stuck anymore. Don't close your eyes anymore. See yourself as the leader that you are. See yourself as the powerful, capable being that you are. Step up to being a co-creator of your own world. It's not that difficult, okay? We just need that confidence within ourselves. It makes uh, the world of a difference, pun intended. Having that confidence and that faith within ourselves makes all the difference in terms of how we perceive what happens to us, around us, what we can and cannot do. It's the difference between embodying the world energy. Look at how that the confidence, the power, the freedom. Or if we are the Nine of Wands energy, we are where we are constantly burdened and we're struggling. And it's a fight and a battle to stay where we are, to keep going, to stand up. We feel stuck, we feel powerless, we feel like a victim. Okay? Confidence makes all the difference. also getting don't compare okay we're asked not to compare ourselves to other people and much less to feel like we're less than other people or we cannot do as much or we cannot do as well um, as other people it's all about us okay at this time it's about us it doesn't matter what other people are doing other people have their own path other people have their own dreams other people have their own methods and their own resources no two paths are the same. No two people are the same. No two destinies are the same. So it's not, you know, a good idea to compare ourselves with other people, especially if it's going to make us feel intimidated or affect our confidence. We can look around and be inspired. That's different. But bring it back to you, okay? It's our path. It's our dream. It's our power, our confidence, our strength. That makes us the leader in our own lives, the magician in our own lives. Okay, so that's our message for the weekend. Very beautiful message, very empowering message, full of confidence and encouragement and support from the universe. We just need to step up in that leadership position in our own lives, in any way that we can. Confidence is the first thing we need to work on. And after that, things get a little easier. If we have confidence, if we have faith, if we believe in ourselves. So I hope that the messages make sense. I hope that they help you. 
Um, thank you very much for joining me and thank you for all the support that you're giving me each and every single day. Um, the weekly readings are up. Uh, well, actually, they're covering the uh, 25th of January until the 5th of February. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to look at them yet, um, I did a special little treat and added psychic messages or a little psychic reading um, with the tarot reading. So uh, let me know what you think. Thank you to everyone who's already commented and, and um, you've let me know that you are interested in me uh, doing that uh, again, the psychic readings. And uh, you're very supportive and very encouraging. And I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, feedback because I wanted to do the readings as well. I wanted to do psychic readings as well. So I'm really happy to hear that they are well received. Um, but yeah, okay, these are our messages. Um, remember that the discounted yearly forecast and six month forecast is only available until Monday or Tuesday, is it? Until the 31st. Um, but you still have the Valentine's Day specials. There's three different specials to look at, and uh, all the links you need are in the description box below. But thank you again. I hope we all have a magnificent weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.